Hey there, Psych2Go family. We at Psych2Go are grateful and humbled by your love and support. Here at Psych2Go, our mission is to make content on mental health and self-help more accessible to everyone. So let's continue to navigate everyday psychology. Research shows an estimated 75% of college students will be in a long distance relationship at some point during university. Even though social media, messaging apps, and video calls make it easy for couples to stay connected while apart for extended periods of time, long distance relationships are anything but easy. Studies have shown higher breakup rates in long distance relationships than close distance ones. Oh dear. While some long distance relationships even start out that way when couples meet online, others transition from close distance to long distance relationships. Here are seven stages in a long distance relationship. One, decision. The first chapter in the book of long distance relationships is the decision to try to make long distance work. When one partner lives far away or is faced with an opportunity or obligation that requires travel and the other partner cannot or chooses not to go with them, the couple has to choose between breaking up or entering into a long distance relationship. Common factors that cause couples to consider a long distance relationship are travel due to job description or promotions, a partner in the military, education, an emergency, or family members moving. During the decision stage, partners evaluate whether they want to commit to a long distance relationship and others decide it's best to simply end the relationship. Two, parting. Once both partners have agreed to pursue a long distance relationship, so begins the second chapter titled, Parting. They'll try to spend every minute together before they're separated to make up for the weeks, months, or years they'll spend apart. This is also the stage where partners should set boundaries and make rules to keep their relationship healthy when it transitions to long distance. Three, transition. The transition stage comes after one or both partners have left, launching the long distance part of the relationship. In this stage, partners might be in a state of denial or simply too busy with the practicals of moving and adjusting to life without their partner to dwell on how the relationship has changed. They'll probably message or call their partner frequently and keep them updated on every little thing. They might still feel like they're still in a close distance relationship. And then comes four, realization. Were you just about to call them to meet you for coffee? Has the fact that you can't meet up with them whenever you like just kind of sunk in? Do you feel at a loss because you could really use a hug from them right now? If so, you've now entered the next chapter, realization. During this stage, couples begin to process what life is like without their partner. They must face the reality that they can't depend on their partner to be there for them physically anymore. The realization stage, while painful, also teaches partners to be more independent, have better time management and improve their communication. Five. Jealousy. Did they just post a photo of them having fun at the beach with new friends? Are they planning to go to an event with their new colleagues? Like, really? Here you are not being able to even eat properly because you miss them so much while they've already made new friends. Jealousy is a common stage in long distance relationships. In a study, 125 US college students who had been or were currently in long distance relationships concluded that jealousy was the most commonly experienced negative emotion while they were apart. Participants in the study reported feeling jealous not only of potential romantic interests, but also of friends and family who got to spend more time with their significant other than they did. 